Hi, this is Beata from Split Coast Stampers. In this video, I want to show you how to create an accordion card. For my sample, I used Want to Scrap Nesta Boards, label 1, Pink Paisley um, Butterfly Garden Paper, and stamps are from Flourishes, the Sweet Days of Summer, as well as Butterfly and Blossoms. You can create this any shape, but the Nesta board is cool because it matches the uh, label one Nestability dies. So I already cut out pattern paper in the same size, and all I have to do is tape them on. I ran it through my Xyron so it will go faster. But uh, let's start with creating the pages. For the pages, if you want four pages, and for the label one nestability, it works to have them three and a half inches wide. So you need one piece that measures three and a half by ten and a half and score at three and a half and seven. And then a second piece that measures three by seven and you score it in half at three and a half. And you pre fold those. and tape Oops, and I must have miscut sorry about that but that's an easy fix just cut this a little bit smaller and tape one side of the three and a half inch piece uh, the seven inch piece the smaller piece to one of the panels on the uh, ten and a half inch side. That will create four uh, four pages for your accordion card. If you want more, uh, you just continue to cut. You can cut um, more strips the same width, and just score them in the increments that your that your um that your paper width is. So now you have four pieces. I just have to fold it the other way. Fold them all up. Oops. I did not prep very well, I'm sorry about that. But another easy fix. And then if you want to, for the label one, since they are rounded, I rounded my corners with the memory chomper. Just punch all four sides. And then you can decorate them, and I already did that to make it faster. And for that I used the flourishes stamps and additional um, pattern paper from Pink Paisley. Now we're prepping the covers. And like I said, I already ran, I cut the same size pieces with, la it's the largest label one nestability die with my wizard. And I'm going to add paper on each side and repeat that for my second cover as well. I think the flower will be on the front. And see how great this covers it up. If you don't use nest um, boards and use chipboard, you might want to uh, paint the edges first, but the Nesta board, I don't know if you can see, it has a darker edge. I really like it, so I'm not going to do anything to that. Let's see. It doesn't really matter which way that goes. I'm going to tape this on. And then you could leave it like it is. Or, if you want to, 
use a sanding block and just sand the edges a little bit. That way you will see the raised edge from your embossing from the pattern paper. And it just gives it a softer look. I'm just going to do that for the outside piece. Take your decorated pages and I already added uh, adhesive score tape and then tape them onto your covers. Just make sure it's right step up or however you want this. whichever direction you want it to be. Press down and take the other side, the adhesive off. And place your second cover on top. Now, another really cool project, uh, product from Want to Scrap is their Nesta Bling. They don't have just a chipboard that matches the nestability shapes, but also rhinestones and pearl shapes. And you can see how great this fits. So I'm going to add a frame to my front. For that, I just take Part of it off, it's easier to place this way. Kind of center it. Don't press it on too hard yet in case you have to move it. Uh, you can. See, it's a little bit off center, so take it off. And then once you have it the way you like it, you can press it down. Oh, again. I love it how they keep their shape, so even if you goof off like me here, it still works great. There. Now you will need some ribbon to hold your card um, shut. Just cut yourself a long piece. You can always cut it down. And then I just add a little bit of adhesive in the center to hold my ribbon put. And so nobody will see this, I added, I'm adding um, a focus, focal point. The rhinestones on there are also from Want to Scrap. I cut a swirl apart and because I didn't have the right color, for this to match the paper, I used Copic Marker YG97 to color it. And now all you have to do is tie this shut. I made a little pouch here so you can stick something in. You can put a little gift card in or a hidden message. I hope you try it out. They're really fun. See you next time.